Okay, watching 1300. So three minute games. And this is, this time frame is where, where we really see <laughs> the metal of the rating levels. Uh, three minutes, um, I won't say five minutes because that's the area where, I mean, they can get assistive stuff in the three minute ones as well but it's uh, harder as the time drops down whereas the five minutes they've got a bit more time to establish a good opening mid game real quick with any assistance so this is for the 1300s so we're gonna have to be quick with our um, narration but we've caught this game more than halfway through so I'm not catching up at this moment I will wait to see the next game that the 1300 is going to be playing in so we'll get a feel for what they're doing and so they've got two bishops two bishops and he's got a rook he's got two rooks and he's got a knight as well he's got two rooks and a knight so in essence black has more pieces so you think he'd be able to do a bit more damage it's just the quality of the pieces I like Black's flexibility of pieces because he's just got stalwart rooks so he's got multiple pieces that can come round and attack put a check on get his knight off the board if he wanted to do that but he's just attacking and attacking allowing the rook to actually put checks on the king king's looking to take the knight off the board so this is um this is a the high, this to me is the higher end of the 1300 yeah he's jumping into the 1400 but um he's not playing currently like a 1400 just based on what i'm seeing that's all and so he looks like he's a lot better player than that but 12 12 13 90 13 11 yes yeah, so it's consistently in that area so they must have been doing it for a while does it show how long they were on no. So let's see. Now we're looking to see if there's any mess ups, and the 1400 eventually lets his rook get taken by the bishop. So the flexibility of these pieces was too much. His rook hasn't even had to do anything. So now, is he going to mess it up? Was there any need for this knight being moved? Because it's just allowing the pawn to come down, but he can take. That you don't need to do anything special now at this moment in time. Yeah, just nice and steady away. The maturity of the person in terms of chess maturity is seen, especially in the end game, in positions like this. It's something I'm trying to work on that end game maturity, not f getting flustered, not getting riled, especially when you're winning and you know there's not you don't have to do anything else but then the opponent seems to be clawing back their time and then they end up winning on time so that was a nice that was a nice ending we'll see what the next one looks like if they if they're actually going in they might be taking a break so this is why I'm not jumping onto them or they're not coming on the screen do 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 Okay, so he's back on the high end 1300 player. So, this is the type of player that you probably come across if you're playing in some sort of tournament or arena. Let's see how it's working. Let's push down here. It's not castled yet. It's not looking to castle. Now he's potentially looking to castle. Takes, takes. Yeah, the knight's going to castle. Okay, so it's for, this, high, this is a high end 1300. Yeah. He looks like he's breaking the 1300 mark in this arena. He's attacking through and he's supporting. Bishop's taking, Queen's down. Bishop, Queen, Knight. Knight's not really. Knight's going to be attacking the Queen. It's away from. No, he's not doing that. He's blocked that off now because it's probably a missed opportunity, but he's bringing his Knight across towards his King area. Black's now just doing a load of blocking stuff. It's not really. What is he a 1500? Oh, sitting back waiting, doing his one, 
double combinations. I thought it was a bit strange going on here. Yeah, doing absolute non moves yet again. Yeah, you can tell I'm not impressed with the 1500s. Um, yeah. It, he's playing against a high end 1300 here. So he needs to be, if he wants to get an advantage, he needs to be careful doing this rope rubbish. It's attacking the pawn, but look at that. He's playing against a high end 1300. That was a lovely example right there of a high, proper 1300 against a floundering 1500. I'm going to have to pause that one and save that one.